So you've tried to make it work on your own, but no matter what you do, it seems like your marriage just isn't getting better. Maybe a friend recommended marriage counseling to you, but you brushed off the idea thinking that your marriage wasn't that doomed. But now, after months of trying different tips and ideas without results, you're considering giving it a go. But does marriage counseling actually work, or is it just a waste of time and money? My name's Brad Browning. I'm a marriage coach from Vancouver, BC, and I'm also an author of the best-selling program called Mend the Marriage. And today I want to talk to you about the ins and outs of marriage counseling. So let's begin by talking a little bit about a few common situations. Your partner is ready to end the marriage, but you're not. You've watched self-help videos, read the books, and even turned to your friends and family for advice. You're at the point where your spouse isn't even speaking to you much anymore, and when you do talk, every conversation ends in an argument. Or maybe you never argue at all because your spouse doesn't want to talk anymore. You didn't see this coming, and even if you did, there was nothing you could do to change their mind. Your situation right now is painful, but you desperately don't want to separate, and you truly believe that your marriage can be saved. Traditionally, couples in crisis are advised to attend marriage counseling, or couples therapy. In these sessions, the couple would work with a counselor who creates a safe environment, open for honest discussions about their marriage. Together, they look for the root causes of their problems and may concentrate on, on improving certain areas of the, of the relationship. These areas include things like communication, conflict resolution, forgiveness, trust, commitment, intimacy, and others, and it depends on your personal situation, really. Essentially, the marriage counselor provides the tools that a couple needs to confront their marriage issues and a recovery plan. If these are done properly, it can definitely be helpful. For marriage counseling to work, both spouses must be willing to attend, participate, and work hard on facing the issues in the marriage. More importantly, they must also both believe that their marriage is salvageable and worth saving. It's sometimes extremely difficult to convince your, your spouse to go down this route. So before you dump thousands of dollars into marriage counseling, you may want to consider investing in my Men to Marriage program. This is a program that I've poured my heart and soul into, and it'll give you and your spouse a second chance at lifelong love. In fact, my program has been so wildly successful to date that it alone has helped save thousands of marriages without marriage counseling. And the great thing about it is, you don't need your spouse to buy in. You don't need to wait around for a marriage counselor to help you. So if you want to learn more details about my Men the Marriage program, you can watch the free video presentation on my website, marriageguy.com. And again, it's www.marriageguy.com. So head over there after the video and watch the free presentation for more information. And alternatively, of course, you can sign up for my personal coaching program. So if you're dead set on getting a personal coach to help you save your marriage, then please consider me as an option. Um, I've been a relationship coach for about 10 years now, and I promise you that my coaching program is significantly more affordable than the thousands of dollars you'll be spending on a marriage counselor. To learn more about my personal coaching program, please visit marriageguy.com slash coaching. Again, the URL is marriageguy.com slash coaching, and I'll put that in the description below as well. Now, if you think you've exhausted all their possible solutions and you're dead set on hiring a marriage counselor, then you should ask yourself a few questions. Questions like, are you and your partner willing to change? What is the depth of your marital problems? How well will you and your spouse respond to a therapist's advice and techniques? Once you've properly evaluated your situation, you can then decide if you want to take the next step and enroll in counseling. You have to keep in mind that while counseling has been proven successful in saving some marriages, it isn't going to serve as your magic bullet. You and your spouse both have to be committed to listen and to apply the advice that a marriage counselor gives to you. No matter where you are in your quest to save your marriage, understand that needing a bit of extra help or professional guidance is completely normal, and it's far more common than most people realize. So before you throw the towel in, take the time to actively work towards fixing the problems in your marriage on your own first. Remember, you may be going down a rocky road right now, but things weren't always like this and they definitely don't have to stay this way either. Marriage counseling is the best last ditch effort that you and your spouse can make before calling it quits. If you have any questions about marriage counseling or you'd like more advice on how to mend your marriage, please visit my website or post in the comments below. Again, the URL to my website is marriageguy.com. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something new and maybe you're feeling a little more confident and ready to work on your own marriage. And as always, I appreciate those of you who take the time to like my video and show your support here on YouTube and on my social media channels as well. All right, that's it for now. So uh, good luck and until next time, take care.